All right. So working on what we showed yesterday in class, um, there's a thing that I wasn't able to figure out in class. And it looks like this is what I was trying to do. So this works now. This is that one pattern I have, and it's got the shell. It feels like a fish scale if you want. I just wanted to see if I could get it like that, and we can tighten this up at some point. But, um, you know, if you wanted this for a pattern on something that's not a fish scale in this case, you could do that, and we can come back and look at it. And I can talk about that in a second. But first, let's take a look at what we're, we're actually working on is this pattern here and how I got it. Um, I took it from a tutorial and then modified it a little bit, but we're just going to go through it the easiest way is to show you, let me pull this out of the way here, show you the, uh, build it with this on top. So I'll mock exactly what I have here and build the same thing. Hopefully this will help you start thinking about how to do this for yourself. Um, and you're starting to when you watch the speed through ones, but you know, this will help you know more of the uh, choices you have and such. So let's start here. And it shouldn't be that bad. We're going to start with the, the solid, which is a stripe. And it's called a shape in here, I think. But let's just start from scratch here. Space, and we'll just say stripe in this case. And if you look at the stripes, it opens up like this. And if you look inside of patterns, there should be a stripe in here. Oops, that's not it. There it is, stripes. So at first, this doesn't look like you can do much with it. But let's take a look at the actual settings inside of the stripe here. So before, I'm not even going to look at the other one for this one. So we're going to mess with it, and we're going to change it to do a couple things here. Um, I'm going to turn the stripes down to 1. And we're going to change the width to a larger width. And I'm going to change it so it's more vertical like this, like that. That may be too thick. I think I was at 0.1. Looks about right. OK. So now I've got this stripe from this double stripe thing. So that's good, right? Just messing with these numbers here. It didn't have to be exactly what I have. The next thing you want to do, really what we're going to be doing, is using this um, Cartesian polar gradient, uh, or grayscale, I'm sorry. So I'm going to do that first before I move this, So you can before I put this modifier on here, so you understand why I put the modifier on there. So one of the things I don't like is like following in order. Um, I want to make sure you understand what we're doing. So I'm going to come down here and say I'll select it, and I'll say Cartesian, and there it is, polar grade scale, to polar grade scale, and there you go. So why did I move this? Well, because the control I have over this is pretty limited at this point. Um, I can't make it bigger or smaller by changing anything in here, except for thicker. And I can do this. But I can't really change how wide the circle is. What I really want is for this to move into a different direction. And you can see that you can do some crazy stuff with this, too. It's just basically it's a... It's a blur, um, spherical blur, or circular blur kind of thing. It just takes the center of the object and, and makes a circle uh, out of the whole thing. And if you look at the shift, you can see that's, you know, it's just taking it down this spiral. So I'm going to put what we have up here as a transform 2D. And it's something we use all the time, and you should get used to using it. So transform, oops, let's do that. Transform 2D, bam. It's also the same one that's right there. I'm just getting used to the icons here. So if you look at it, you'll see that I just moved it down a little bit. So what you can do with this is you can change the offset a little bit. And as I do, it makes it a bigger circle. And that's kind of what we want. Um, we can look exactly what I did, or we can get something close. And honestly, the original tutorial had, I think it was this one. <laughs> And then he also scaled it. So you got more circles out of it. So you got something like that. And I'll show you what that does later. But that's kind of what they did. I think this is a little bit further out. We'll just copy the settings here. But it's negative 15, and I went negative 28. So 15. Um, again, it's not a big big change it just makes it a little bit different and maybe easier as we go down so now let's take a look and step back again all we've done is created a line from the lines and then we've moved it down a little bit so when we made this circle we had a little bit more control about how wide the circle is that's all we've done next thing we're going to do is actually make this thing right here a shape and what this shape is going to be is our alpha see how it's black and white white meaning that it's 
um, that it's um, seen through and I'm sorry white means it's uh, opaque and the black means it's transparent so we are going to drag this out and go to a blend first we'll just throw this into a blend and then what we can do is you can go backwards you can do it either way you want um, a lot of people just make the, the shape first you can type in shape so you can drag out this blend here let's so the next thing you do is depending on what you if you know what you want to do you can just spacebar and click here and say um, shape s h a p e and then enter or you can drag this out and go straight to a blend and then drag this out and go shape s h a p e it's whatever way you really want to go um, a lot of people know what they want, so they throw the shapes in there. So let's take a look at this new node that we have here, shape. If we look at it, okay, so let's take a look at this shape. If you double click on it, we'll come over here and we'll see right now we have a square, we have a bunch of different patterns, we could do parabola. Um, a disc probably sounds like the best example, because what we're going to use this for is to do an alpha on this. So um, there's a couple ways you could do that. We could just double click here and see what we get. And I think, yeah, that's my bad. I put this here, it should be here. Dunk. Take this one out. I don't think it needs both. It doesn't really matter at that point, but okay. So if we take a look at this, <clears throat> this is probably fine, but we really wanna have this as tight around that circle as we can. So all we have to do is mess with the scale. Just come in with that scale double click it again and then click on this one and come in with the scale and eventually you'll see it start to eat into it we just want to have it right there as close as we can get to that edge just like that I didn't really do it on this one uh, I'm not sure why but anyway probably because I was looking at it when I was setting it up to to teach okay so now we've got this circle we've got a hole in this circle it's actually not there and then the next thing we're gonna do and some he did some other stuff too but I didn't I wasn't really curious why he did that so I'm gonna say invert grayscale and now we've got the white okay and then we're gonna take our shape again and what we want you can't really see it in there but if I double click on this you still can't see it for some reason oh I think I know why actually cancel I think you can tell it to there it is I forgot that you have to turn this on now it's on it used to be on by default now and now it's on by um, you clicking on it it just makes the background show up so you don't have to zoom in but that's a transparent background so we just need to do the same thing right so we'll pull this out go to blend and then we're gonna go from blend for the opacity we want the same opacity so why even do it that way we'll just take it like this copy paste copy paste okay copy paste oh, I keep putting them up there and keep missing them I'll delete both of those all right and we'll take this and we'll throw it into there like that and then we got to put this one up top we'll take this out oh you know what I did it wrong anyway okay so you don't want a regular blend because blend doesn't go to the background uh, white you need an RGBA um, merge because it the reason is is you don't have an alpha channel if you don't use that so we'll come out from here and we'll say RGBA merge so it's a color object now we'll have to decide how we want to deal with that and then we'll take it over here and go to our alpha and there it is um, and the thing is right now you'll see it goes to RGBA since I only have it in one place uh, it doesn't really do anything but red but if I take it and put it in the green too and then I take it and put it in the blue all of a sudden it's back to white and we've got our opacity and that's the big deal okay and then one more thing they did down and then we'll do these but in a second but that's the whole making of the object we're gonna do another one that's a little bit more complicated but it's the same deal it's all about the amount of uh, shapes you can pull out of your uh, mind to get it to where you want it to look right